Ahoy there everybody, what's up? Mr. Epic is here one last time with this game to give us all a good debriefing. Obviously after this Epic series has come to its end, I just wanted to show you that there is a little bit more to it than I showed you in the series. For example, there are planes you can get with every additional level you gain. Obviously I am level 25 as you can see in the top left corner, so I just need one level before I can unlock the F-16 Falcon Falcon. And obviously there are those other planes like the Hor Super Hornet, the fabulous F-22 Raptor. Obviously these are planes I already have, or could have if I unlock them. <coughs> Sorry. So yeah, I um, just want to get a good plane which I haven't got yet, and it's which is really good. Like here you can get I can get another Harrier version, it's level 27. Or I can get the Typhoon, Eurofighter, whatever you want to call it. Obviously, you have to work quite a bit for them. I mean, come on. The French Rafale, 2001, level 60. That is quite a long way to go for me, too. So, you can't just get these planes in a day, guys. You really need to get some, working, some work done in here. Obviously, back to the, by the Russian planes. Fox Bat, Fox Bat. And I have been looking forward to this for a very, very, very long time. I can finally unlock the dreaded MiG-29 Fulcrum. I've never flown this plane before. Never, ever, ever. So I am hoping that I can have some good, a good time in this plane. So, I am ready to unlock this. So while I fly this brand new plane of mine, I can talk a bit about the game itself. When it's coming. I haven't... Um, put the flung thing for, I have no idea what it looks like. Ooh, the, the dreaded MiG-29 Fulcrum. Oh my god. Oh my god, Russian technology actually keeps up with the Western for change. Oh my god, that is, that is bad. Okay, so about the game, obviously, um, the... The principle of the game is pretty easy, you just get up and uh, get in the plane and fight against others. Which is pretty simple, I guess. But, I... But obviously, um... Oh, hang on guys! Um, yeah. Uh, if you get into a plane and shoot the other planes down, I mean, that's what you do in war with fighter planes. Uh, yeah. But anyhow, I think it's quite cool. Obviously, it's a bit sad there's not like a really nice story or anything to it, like a campaign or something like that. But I guess it's not Metal Storm, it's just, um, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't call it a simulator. Although it is pretty close, I think. Ooh. Oh, dude. Uh, yeah, it isn't a simulator, pretty close though. Dude, let me, leave me alone. Oh, hang on, there's a plane on there, sorry. Oh, this plane's quite cool though, I haven't pl flown this one before, and it's, I like it, I really like it. Ooh, so agile! From the graphics, I think they did a really good job with the planes, but the ground sucks, really, to be honest. I mean, come on, it's just a, it's just a green plane, or sometimes yellow, depending if you're in the desert or something. But they really haven't put a big effort into the, to the surface. But obviously, the good thing about playing games ah, is not getting shot down. The good thing about playing the games is obviously that um, it's not about the advertisements either. It's not about the um, the surface, it's about the air. You fly in the air, you don't fly on the surface, I hope. Well, you're not flying a tank, are you? So, um, one more go. <laughs> I'm getting addicted to this um, plane. I'm addicted to you, Mc29, and I cannot sing. No, you start to cry. Eat. Dinner time. Uh, uh what am I up against when I'm in the MiG-29? Ooh, what's that? I'm up against F-16s when I get into the MiG-29, so it is really quite modern, I guess. Dude! Whatever. Anyhow. I, I'm not sad that, it's, that the graphics on the ground suck. Oh, no, 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 dude. Eat it, please. Dudes, I need to kill you. Anyhow, the thing isn't the ground, obviously, the, the thing is the air. And I think the planes did a really good job. It's a really beautiful look to look into those afterburners without burning your eyes. 
I really like it. And unlike other flight games or tablets and mobiles, like for example Metal Storm for example, it's a bit realistic. I mean, look, it's Russians, Soviets, against Americans. Never happened before, but I mean they're real planes. And it's a scenario which could have happened. And did happen, maybe just not exactly Russia versus America, but there have been enough interceptions and stuff like that in the past, so... I think it's a really nice game. The music obviously gets a really nice plus point from me. I hope I, as a commentator, get a plus point from you guys though, or maybe a few likes. Okay. Obviously, this is not my only Let's Play series I'm planning to do. My next series I'm planning to start with is. Um, no, what do they call it? Sorry. Gangstar Vegas, which I am also looking forward to because it took me longer than I did expect to do this series. I'm not sad about it, I like this game. And I'm going to carry on playing it to unlock those other planes, definitely. Maybe when I unlock those other planes, I'll do some short videos showing them to you, showing off that my skills! So, yeah, it's not done yet, not by far. I mean, if I want to get that Raptor, I really have a long way to go. I haven't even tried to gun out yet, but now I have. Oh my god, it's so fine, it's so agile. No wonder the NATO was scared to hell. However, I really think this is a nice game. It's really funny. And it's free, which is also another good plus point. So I'm just going to get my supersonic escape and I hope you have a really nice t time. I'll see you by my next series which will be Gangster Vegas. And until then I really hope you have a nice life. Well I mean, hope that was the one. And then I'll see you guys next time.